I'm Skywatch meteorologist Justin here. We've got a lot to talk about. We've had that cold, rainy, miserable forecast for today, and it looks like that'll continue into tomorrow. But a lot of folks online on social media have been asking me what the winter precip situation is going to be. We'll talk about that. Plus, we'll be seeing what, in my opinion, is the biggest headline of all colder weather invading as we go deeper into the seven day forecast. But let's talk about rain first. We had a lot of it uh, uh, today across the middle of South Carolina being pushed in front of this cold front. You can see that moisture continues to filter into the middle of South Carolina. Some of the heavier rain pockets illustrated by those deeper yellows oranges and reds, but the bigger picture across the southeast, all this purple and pink that you see here are different uh, winter weather products put out by the National Weather Service, which extend from the upstate of South Carolina down through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana and into Texas. Texas currently seeing snow. In fact, we've uh, been retweeting some pictures on social media on Twitter to be exact of some of the snow that's falling there in places like Austin, Texas over at Texas A&M at the football stadium and other locations. And we anticipate that other locations along the that line that I just showed you will continue to see wintry precipitation as we go into Friday's forecast. But right now, just liquid variety precipitation for us, aka rain. You can see some heavier pockets in southern Fairfield County as well as eastern Richland County, as well as portions of Calhoun and Orangeburg County. And early this evening, right about 745, we did have some sleet reported in Irmo. We talked about that at the top of the broadcast. You can see more information about that at our website, WACH.com. But if you saw sleet tonight, let me know on uh, Twitter, Facebook, or even our website. WACH.com would love to see some pictures or some video. Temperatures around the Midlands ranging from the low 40s to the mid 40s at this particular point in time. And compared to this time 24 hours ago, the eastern Midlands a little bit warmer, the southern Midlands about 2 to 4 degrees cooler. A lot of that has to do with how much rain we've seen today. Wind speeds coming out of the southwest between about 3 to 5 miles per hour, bringing additional moisture. And here's Future Watch stopping this early in the morning, continuing into tomorrow afternoon. Notice that steady uh, stream of precipitation. The pinks, uh, purples and whites illustrating that potential for wintry weather. Now here in the middle of the South Carolina folks, I'm going to be very honest with you. I think we'll have minimal impacts. I think if we do see any sort of changeover, it's going to be in the far northwestern Midlands. Very quick event uh, late Friday going into Saturday and the upstate of South Carolina could be seeing that tomorrow afternoon. We'll keep an eye on that, but if you see anything, snap a picture, take a video and send it to us. Of course, doing so safely. The seven day forecast showing the bigger headline, colder conditions invading later this weekend going into the start of next week and then we get a reinforced blast of cold air by midweek next week. But overall, folks, looks like a somewhat minimal impact winter weather event for us here in South Carolina. Not necessarily the case, though, in other locations across the southeast. Sports is next after the break.